Hey, it's Joey from I'm Delete. We're back in the shop today. We got this 2020 Lowrider S that we just brought back from the dead. So it, it was in a pretty serious accident. So amongst the slew of I'm's parts he's got, we're gonna throw a brand new product. We have our uh, soft tail skid plate that just came out. So we're gonna go ahead and get that installed and show you how to do it. That was gold. <laughs> That's fucking shit. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a pretty quick one. We're gonna run through it real fast. All these bolts, if you're already running the OG crash bar and you have these, these bolts in here, they're almost flush with the back side of the frame. So all we're gonna do is just break them loose a little bit and make sure that they're not sticking out on the back side. Now we got those all broken loose, all we got to do is go ahead and get our new uh, skid plate popped up on the inside of the frame rails. And then we're going to just swap a short bolt for a long one, all, one at a time all the way around. We'll just go short one, long one, short one, long one, until we got all four swapped. And then we're going to be back in business. Just run it just till you can feel it poking out of the out of the back side of the skid plate for a second. This is where we're gonna throw that replacement button head because we have a little bit of a counter bore that we gotta get into on that master. All right, now we got everything in place and go ahead and tighten them all down. Now this one back here, you have a wire harness. So you're gonna wanna get your nylock started on here before you thread it all the way through or you wanna have enough room to get your nut back there. You can probably see easier on the other side. If you look up underneath, you can see I got a little bit of this harness here. That's just blocking the back side of this. While well, it's just barely sticking out, you can wash it up there. Go 
ahead and get the nuts started. Kind of are limited on room on the back side. It's hard to really get a ratchet wrench up in here. Just have to tighten down that nylock on the back side. That wire harness is going to kind of get in your way a little bit too. You'll just have to work around it. Yeah. 